Um, basically, what they're asking us to do, there's no y in this. Basically, what they're asking us to do is find the value c that completes the square. So basically, what we are trying to do is we're going to try to make this a perfect square trinomial. You might not know, remember what a perfect square trinomial is. So if not, that's OK. What you're going to basically do is you're going to take b divided by 2 and square it. Now you might remember, well, what is b then? Because there's no b in there. There's only a c. Well, if you guys remember, when we were talking about quadratics last class period, I had you in your notes write in standard form, which is ax squared plus bx plus c. So the value of b is actually the value of your middle term, or your term that's being, or your linear term, the coefficient of your linear term, the term that's being multiplied by your x. So all I'm going to do is take 8 divided by 2 and square it. 8 divided by 2 is 4. 4 squared is 16. So therefore, now I'm going to replace c with 16. So x squared plus 8x plus 16. Now, technically, that's all the worksheet is asking you guys to do. But I want you to go one step further. Since this is a perfect square trinomial, which we will talk more about later, so don't really worry about it if you don't know what I'm talking about, we can factor this, which we're going to talk about <coughs> later again. We can factor this into a binomial squared, which again, we'll talk about later. But anyways, the trick to do that is just to do x plus b divided by 2 squared. So I want you to show me this. Then what was b divided by 2? 4. So your factored form of this is x plus 4 squared. So those are the two things I want you guys to do for 1 through 8 and 12 and 15. And that's it. Okay. Now let's do a 